right, so what do we got here? The head sculpt I got from JS Armory from Etsy. The smirk that it had on it kind of matched the attitude that I was going for in the concept. I went through three different styles until I settled on this one to sculpt the, the crown out of Warbler. And I got this bust and this second head sculpt from Metaverse underscore customs on Instagram. I figured I'd get a classic look to Wonder Woman just in case my original idea was a little too left field. And on this arm brace, I used a black version of Warbler, which to me is much more easy to deal with than the original, you know, tortilla chip Warbler. I sculpted the shoulders out of epoxy uh, sculpt, uh, along with the kneecaps. I got these kneecaps of, that I sculpted out of AV's epoxy. And as far as the leg goes, below the knee, I'm not going to really paint I'm going to separate it with this uh, leather red ribbon so because when i think of you know a norse wonder woman one of the things i think of is leather so i wanted to incorporate that somewhere so i'm going to put that in the center of the leg to separate the skin from the boot and i also sculpted part of the cape so it'd be like some shoulder armor and i decided to use this type of shoulder armor to incorporate the cape with so I could keep some of the articulation going in the shoulders because my original concept boy you weren't gonna get any articulation in the in the shoulders and I'm gonna use that material for the cape and also when you think of Norse I think of fur so I wanted leather and fur so where can I put fur at the bottom of the boot is definitely where I wanted to incorporate some fur so once I attach this with some Fabri-Tac I'll be able to cut it to length so it doesn't hang too much and I think it'll look good once I'm done I mean that's the in theory at least and I'm also gonna include an extra set of hands paint these up they will be kind of a pair of gloved hands and this is the black leather cord that I'm gonna use on the opposite arm as what I'm gonna make the other arm brace out of is leather and then across this bicep and along the back i'm thinking of putting some kind of tattoos because you know it reminds me of a tribe a norse tribe and i got these tattoos from bad mother tattoos and customs on etsy and i was thinking of using this back skirt but then if i did that you would not get any articulation in that leg so with that idea i went uh <laughs> forget that what I will do is fabric tack this wired skirt onto the front here like so uh, fully wired on the front and on the back and then after I do that I'll take some more warbler and sculpt it as a belt so it'll be like an armored belt that's over the wired skirt and shout out to detour customs for hooking me up with this awesome 3d printed spear and 3d printed axe that i'll use for accessories and for the head peg hole i think i'm going to use a warbler type method instead of the sticky tack and everything seems to be working okay the joints seem to be working okay i'm just going to dry brush a little on the bottom of the knee so you won't have to worry about paint rub at all inside of the knees and on the top is where I'll be painting uh, the skin tone and another cool place that I thought fur would come in good was on the shoulders of that armored piece for the cape so the cape is gonna have armor with fur on the shoulders and that's about it for the sculpting pretty much and the kit bashing we can get down to the real needy greedy of this figure so let's prime this mug up and get down to business <laughs> 